Good evening and welcome to another presentation of the Cruiser Chris World Network. I am Cruiser Chris. Tonight we begin a special series consider concerning the coronavirus, how its outbreak is affecting us here in Minnesota, and steps that you can take to prevent the outbreak from affecting you. So let's begin. There has been a lot of concerns ab about the recent COVID-19 outbreak. In this video, we will discuss the steps of what the COVID-19 virus is or the coronavirus. We will also compare it to the common flu. And we will discuss measures that you can take to prevent the outbreak from affecting you. So let's get started. We here at the Cruiser Chris World Network feel that it is important to do a video like this to keep our followers and subscribers informed. We here at the Cruiser Chris World Network used the following sources to provide us with our information. The World Health Organization, the CDC, and Fox 9 News Twin Cities. Coronavirus or COVID-19 has the following symptoms. Now, you may or may not experience one or more of these symptoms at the same time. Elevated temperature, dry cough, runny nose, sore throat are the four main symptoms that are known to be a part of the coronavirus. Elderly people and people that have other, other health issues, example, cancer, asthma, COPD, and heart disease are in the category of people that would be considered at risk. With these cases of someone getting the coronavirus that has heart disease, you may experience difficulty breathing, which may lead to pneumonia. Antibiotics, it is important to note here, do not cure this virus. Do not work against this virus. The virus may stay on surfaces for a few hours or a few days. Spray areas well. Wash your hands. Do not touch your eyes, mouth, or nose. Now we have the symptoms for influenza or the flu. They are as follows. The first is fever, feeling feverish or chills. Two, body aches. Three, cough. Four, sore throat. Five, runny or stuffy nose. 6. Tired. 7. Muscle or body aches. 8. Headaches. It is important to note that not everyone with the flu will have a fever. Most people that get the flu will recover. 
recover fully in a few weeks. Moderate complications are sinus infections and ear infections or both. Serious complications can include inflammation in the heart, respiratory or organ failure, Get your flu shot. Personal preventive measures for any type of virus. One, good respiratory hygiene. Cover your mouth when you cough or sneeze. Two, make sure you don't get dehydrated. Three, early isolation as soon as you feel ill. Stay home. Four, avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Five, do not share personal items. Six, get plenty of rest. Seven, eat healthy. Now we're going to discuss things that you should do after you're symptom free. A, wash your bedding, and disinfect mattresses and pillows. B. Disinfect all door handles and refrigerator handles. C. Maintain a healthy lifestyle by eating well and drinking Plenty of water. D. Disinfect all things that are touched daily. E. Don't drink out of the milk or juice bottles unless you live alone and are not having visitors over. The next thing that we are going to discuss is washing your hands properly. One, hand washing should take at least 20 seconds. Cover your, cover the hand surface in other words, this is your palm. This is what they want you to cover. With soap, rub your hands together, palm to palm. So like you're, like you're praying like this. Okay. Uh, rub one palm over the back of the other hand, then switch hands and repeat. So what they want you to do when they're saying this is they want you to take the palm of your hand and rub it like this, and then they want you to switch your hands and repeat. So you could do either hand, either direction first, but they want you to do it like this. And, and so, th there you go. And then, um, next it says, rub the tops of your hands in the palm of the other hand 
and switch and then switch hands and repeat four grab uh, your thumb in the palm of the other hand and rub all around the thumb switch hands and repeat Five, twist, hold on, maybe I lost five here. Five is twist hands, uh, twist your fingertips back and forth in the palm of your hand. This will help to clean your underneath your fingernails. Switch and repeat. Six, rub your hands together while you rinse them under warm water, warm running water, dry hands, Preferably with a paper towel. And turn off the faucet using the paper towel. Also, use the paper towel to help you open any door handles. Facts about Minnesota concerning the coronavirus. As of the recording of this video, yes, there is one older gentleman in Minnesota that has come has been confirmed to have the coronavirus. This gentleman was on the Grand Princess cruise ship about a month ago he is at home recovering and resting after receiving treatment from doctors he has also been in constant communication with people at the minnesota department of health and they are monitoring him and his family he has had very little contact with outside people other than members of his family and it is very important to state that currently the risk to spread this a coronavirus is low however we do suggest here at the cruiser chris world network to follow whatever guidelines and requests are made of you by your local health officials. Um, the Minnesota Department of Health alerted us to this case to, in order to prevent a panic And the Trump administration has signs has signed an emergency coronavirus package of eight point three billion dollars in efforts to fight the outbreak. So what does that uh what does what do the taxpayers get for that? One, $3.1 billion to the health secretaries for the, for the health secretary's disposal. Two, $950 billion, oh, night correction, $950 million for state and local health departments. Three, 
when they become available, 300 million for vaccines and treatments. Note, there is no vaccine for the coronavirus at this time. This information came to us from marketbusinessinsider.com. We hope that by you watching this video, we were able to provide you with the best information possible and the most current information possible that we know of at this point. We will have future videos that will go further into the latest updates of the coronavirus and other videos that explore different things that interest me. So please stay tuned to the Cruiser Chris World Network for further updates. If you liked this video, please consider subscribing, giving us a thumbs up, and sharing it with your Facebook friends. Thank you, and don't forget to hit that notification bell to receive the latest alerts from the Cruiser Chris World Network. Thank you, have a good night, and we will see you next time.